heart symbol over time has been embedded with multiple meanings such as love, life, romance, and all these meanings create multiple interpretations for the consumer. There are brands such as Cheerios and brands such as Pomegranate Juice, Palm Wonderful, which are using the heart symbol to denote how they might stand for a healthy lifestyle and at the same time stand for connection and love. Polysemy and rhetorical figures can be used to um, infer something that said explicitly in words might get them in regulatory scrutiny. We're essentially looking from an ethical lens of is this appropriate where they might not be definitively uh, breaking the law and policy stipulations, but uh, they are sort of finding ways to circumvent the spirit of those policies. With multiple brands using a symbol so in such a common manner, what is it that's actually being given out to the consumer? It seems generally consumers are becoming more and more aware and concerned and conscious about what is in their food and increasingly a health consciousness about food choices. And so I think the heart symbol can emerge more and more you know, as a means to try to infer that it is a heart healthy or healthy choice. There are guidelines on what the heart symbol can be used for, but guidelines are not very specific of what happens when a symbol has multiple meanings. Is it being used for love or is it being used for health? And even for the marketer, they may not be sure of whether the consumer interprets this as love or if the consumer interprets this symbol as health and lifestyle. That is what I feel my research can help this, these three, the consumer, policymaker, and the industry professional combine and see market from a way which becomes catered to the consumer choice but also falls within the policy guidelines that are provided. It's a challenge being presented to policymakers, but so much of advertising has become visually based rather than with the use of words, whereas policy tends to be much better at dealing with what can or can't be said in terms of words and explicit claims as opposed to what might be inferred visually. The impact of my research for marketers is multi has multiple folds. One being that it allows them to get more deeper consumer insight and data regarding what can, how consumers interpret the words and symbols that they use. At the same time, marketers, practitioners, they are governed by policy guidelines and strictures which define how they can communicate to the consumer in the food and beverage sector. I hope that my data and my research also allows them to market more responsibly within those claims or within those guidelines that are provided by policy and makers and regulators.